We're here on the campus of Peak Vista, offering everything from pediatric health care to dental health care to mental health care. This is really an incredible facility. Come on with us. Th Hi, thank you for having us uh, in, in your house uh, and in, in your day-to-day. -day. Can, you, can you tell us a little bit about what it is that you do here as, as really the, the, the beginning of, of Peak Vista? So Peak Vista is all about eliminating access barriers for healthcare. Um, medical, dental, behavior health, it's all about serving anyone that needs care. Mm -hmm. And that's regardless of ability to pay or insurance status. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure our doors are open and we're taking care of the community. Well, that's, I mean, that's an amazing mission, first of all, when you have, everyone needs to be taken care of, and, and especially with help of, of all kinds, and whether it's, uh, you know, physical health, mental health, your, your dental health is something that uh, I would say uh, even the, the average American with dental insurance doesn't take <laughs> care of as much as they should. Um, but that's, that's something that, that uh, you know, every every agency we found fills a need in the community, and and it sounds like you just have one where people can walk on in the door and be taken care of, uh, and that's <laughs> that's great to, to get first thing. So so tell us about your your average clientele. Uh, who is it that that comes in the door and says hello, my name is, and here's what I'm looking for. So our average clientele is a family. Okay. It's the children that are going to school, mm -hmm. and we want to keep them in school, keep them healthy, mm -hmm. and have that learning experience. Mm -hmm. It's mom and dad, and they're usually working. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, based on the various pay and the insurance status, sure. they just can't afford the health care. So, as, as I mean, running a doctor's office, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that the medical care is not cheap. Uh, how is it that, that you're able to make your mission match with your uh, bookkeepers day to day as well. <laughs> it's all about the community. Mm -hmm. We have had such incredible community support and it definitely, we lose money every time we see a patient. Mm -hmm. So every time the community steps up and makes sure that we can meet our mission, mm -hmm. it's a blessing. Now do you have, uh, I mean aside from individual contributions, do you have corporate sponsors that have come up big? Do you have uh, contributions from, do you have grants that are, are, do you have a grant writer that works with you? How do you do that? All of that, we do. Um, we receive a federal grant. Beautiful. Um, however, it's a small portion of our budget. No. We receive some state dollars, mm -hmm. and again, small portion of sure. our budget. It's, it's really the foundations and the local community mm. that has made the difference, taken us over that edge so that we're able to help the community. Mm. We serve about 84,000 patients a year. Wow. I'm just trying to do the, the math in my head. That's, that's, so how many patients are you seeing a day? That's astounding. A little under 1,300 a day. Oh my God. That, that's uh, all right. So if you have thirteen hundred patients, how many doctors do you have then? How many how many nurse practitioners? How many how many nurses? How many admin staff? How many people does it does it take to to supply the the assistance and medical care for thirteen hundred people a day? We have over eight hundred employees, wow. and all of them focused on making the patients experience the best thing possible. Wow. And, and it's not just the office visit. Mm -hmm. It's making sure that there's transportation or that mm -hmm. we're following up, did they get that referral appointment? Do they know it's time for the immunizations or the well child check? Mm -hmm. it, it takes 
truly all of us to make that difference for each patient. I know that the, you know as we've gotten and, and, and been been talking with with agencies within the empty stocking fund and um, and everyone working uh, kind of in their own field and, and everybody seems to just hit a different notch on the line of, of services. Where is it that, that you see yourself in the in the tapestry of nonprofits in Colorado Springs? Well, let's see. That was a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> so I think when you said tapestry, that's mm -hmm. the key point. It takes all of us. And it takes all of us coming from different angles and collaborating together. And it's important that we're not duplicating services, but at the same mm -hmm. time, we've got to be complementing services yeah. to make sure that resources are used wisely. Yeah. So where we fit in the tapestry is direct patient care. Mm -hmm. Um, we work with so many different agencies about making sure that people's lives, um, that we're connecting them to the right agency to mm -hmm. fit those other areas. And we try in, in each one of these, these videos that we put together, we try to be informational and here's what's going on in each one of these agencies. The, the big thing we want to do is is uh, you know people see you know uh, signs on the side of the road they they'll they'll get a mailer they'll see something on TV but they won't know what's going on so we, we love coming inside and showing what's going on and giving information but we we want to not only be informational but we want to be activational we want to get the community involved so how is it that that the average workaday citizen in Colorado Springs can get involved in Peak Vista. What's your website? Where can they get in for more information? How do they get to know you and your staff? How do they do that? Um, there's several ways. Mm -hmm. So six three two five seven zero zero. Got it. Will um, get you directly into our telephone line, and we can find out what what services you need. Um, Peakvista.org. Okay. Website. So for us how the community can be involved. One mm -hmm. is if you need care, please yeah. call us. We want to be here for you. If you're a person that's interested in making sure that care is provided to others, yeah. we have volunteer opportunities through our first visitor program. We have volunteer opportunities through our specialty physician program. Mm. Give us a call. We can connect and make sure that we're utilizing your talents and services. We need you. Awesome. And if you had something to say, so now that we know how the community at large can get involved, what about those needing services? If you had one thing to say to those that, that need medical care, that need dental care, that, that need mental health care, what would you say to, to those folks who are struggling and saying, I'm not doing this because I don't have the money, I'm not doing this because I don't have the insurance, what would you say to all those folks? I would say, I can remember growing up and my parents making tough choices between health care and other options. And I don't want anyone to have to make tough choices like that. I want people to know that health care is important yeah. and preventative care. We want to be well. We want to have a community well. Yeah. And I don't want anyone to have to make a tough choice. If they need care, we're here for each other. Yeah. We're about a community and we want we want you to call. And that phone number again? 632-5700. Nailed it. Thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate it.